सो हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल द एग्जाम डेट्स ऑफ टी सी एस कोडविटा सीजन थर्टीन आर अनाउंस इन केस यू हैव नॉट रजिस्टर्ड और यू डोंट नो वट टी सी एस कोडविटा इज वेन यू कैन चेक दिस वीडियो ऑन द आई बटन विच यू आर सींग ऑन द स्क्रीन आई हैव एक्सप्लेन हेयर कम्प्लीट रजिस्ट्रेशन प्रोसीजर वॉट इज टी सी एस कोडविटा इन डिटेल एंड हाउ यू कैन गेट प्लेस इन टी सी एस योर एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया एक्सेट्रा नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कोडविटाज राउंड इन डिटेल कम्प्लीट सिलेबस इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स योर एग्जाम डेट्स हाउ टू प्रिपेयर so you can crack this and how to overcome errors in the exam like presentation error etc and we will also discuss some previous year questions so let's get started tcs code beta season 13 will be conducted in three rounds round 1 is pre qualifier this round is divided into two sub rounds that is round 1 zone 1 round 1 zone 2 this is the first round of the competition in this round the participants have to solve six questions within a time limit of 6 hours The difficulty level of this round is lowest in comparison to other rounds of the competition. It is not compulsory for the participants to solve all the questions. There may be a case that you may proceed to the next round even if you have solved half of the questions. Then round 2 is qualifier round. This is the second round of the competition. In this round the participants have to solve 6 questions but the difficulty of this round is pretty high as compared to the previous one. So if you clear this round you can surely get a job in TCS if you want to and that to get a pretty good package and then there will be round 3 that is the grand finale round and in round 4 it will be a grand finale ceremony so the TCS code reader season 13 schedule is finally out so first we have two practice rounds mock vita 1 is on 29th to 30 august and mock vita 2 on 12th to 13th september these are just to get you comfortable with the platform Then comes round one, which is divided into two zones. Zone one will be tenth to eleventh October, and zone two is from thirty first October to first November. Next is round two on fourteenth to fifteenth November, where the level gets tougher. And finally, the grand finale, where the top coders will compete. Dates for the final and grand ceremony are still to be declared. Remember, each round will be twenty four hours long, starting at three pm IST. and ending the next day at 3 pm so start preparing now each round will be of 6 hours so you can log in any time during that 24 hour window and attempt the test but once you start the timer for your contest will begin so this is the code vita syllabus in this you will have scenario based questions mathematics oriented recursion dynamic programming arrays pattern programming greedy approach string based searching The TCS code beta pre qualifier round will consist of six coding questions that has to be answered in six hours. These questions range from easy to hard. So here are some important topics from the above syllabus, like permutation, all direction traversal, recursion stack, holding the result, etc. Binary search, BS variance, arithmetic expression, module remainder pattern. So you can see all these topics on the screen, like table building, parsing, pattern matching, etc. and also here are a few easy topics and their logic to get practiced like for minimum gifts array greedy approach for minimizing the sum looping stl collections greedy approach so i yeah, have practiced all these kind of questions now here are some most asked concepts or questions in tcs code beta so these are some important topics like pattern matching pattern searching bfs bfs etc so have a look at them and start solving now so now how to prepare for tcs code beta to prepare for tcs code beta it is necessary to develop immense programming skills here are some of the tips on how to prepare for the online programming round of tcs code beta season 13 so first understand the question then identify the optimal logic then write the pseudo code and then finally start writing your code and once you start the test you will not be able to pause the test the code in test consists of exactly six coding questions to be solved in 6 hours so do check the internet connection before getting into the test read the questions carefully and start solving the questions which you are familiar with and avoid plagiarism so now i am going to tell you a very important thing about tcs code vita which can save you from a big problem despite having everything right it happens many times that when we give code vita exam what happens in the exam is that presentation error comes our sample test etc everything passes the output looks absolutely correct but when we submit presentation error comes presentation error comes when your program produces out 
output that is not in the exact format which is expected by the judging system. Even if your logic is correct in all test cases passed locally, extra spaces, new lines or missing formatting can cause presentation error. So what happens is that whenever you are printing the final output, it may be that if you are doing it from Java, then you might have written system.out.println. So what does println means is that after printing change the line so in the end when you want to print the output then you don't have to change the line that means if you're doing in java then you have to use system.out.print so you have to use print and not print ln and if you're using c++ then you do not have to simply change the line by c out using c out and l it adds a new line instead you have to use c out it does not add a new line because extra new lines or spaces can cause presentation error. In Python, the print function adds a new line automatically. So if you don't want new line after your output, you can use and equals to like this. Print x and equals blank. This tells Python to print your output without moving to the next line. So always make sure that the final output exactly matches the expected format. So just because of a small mistake, even the correct code will not get submitted. This is called a presentation error. By keeping this in mind, you can make sure that your code passes all the test cases. And see, these are previously asked questions. The PDF of this is I have provided in the description box of this video. So go check it out. And you will also find complete details of TCS Code Vita Season 13, complete preparation strategy, and the possible solutions of the questions in this PDF. So if you practice from this, it would be enough for you to crack TCS Code Vita Season 13. So do check it out. Now let's have a look at a few PYQs. Like there are two banks, Bank A and Bank B. Their interest rates vary. You have received offers from both banks in terms of annual rate of interest, tenure and variations of the rate of interest over the entire tenure. So this is the input format, the output format and yes, this is the possible solution for it. So solve all these previous year questions. You will also find some practice question in this which is specifically framed for TCS Code Vita. So if you practice them, you will get a lot of help from it. This PDF is enough for clearing all the rounds of TCS Code Vita. So practice it properly. Okay, so as you all know that on Telegram, the solutions get uploaded for the exam and their solutions are 100% correct. And it would be unfair to say that don't use these Telegram groups because the scenario right now is like this only. Because if you won't take help from these Telegram groups, someone else will. So they will take your seat and they will take your chance to get selected. So I suggest that see, the exam will be of 6 hours. So among those 6 hours, Try to solve all these questions within 4 hours. Try to solve those questions by yourself for 4 hours. Give your best. Because if you solve these questions yourself, then this is the best thing. And it will also give you confidence if you solve them correctly. So I will suggest that pick up easy questions first and then hard questions. But you know that you are a college student. So maybe you will not be able to solve all these 6 questions. It is possible that maybe you are able to solve only 3 questions or 2 questions or maybe only one question. So if you're able to solve all these questions, then it is well and good. But in case that you're not able to solve them, then in the last two hours of the exam, go to this Telegram group. The link of this Telegram group is in the description of this video. They upload 100% correct answers. Previously also they uploaded the answers and students cracked the exam. So during the exam, go to this Telegram group. Then they give the solution copy the code and paste it. But if you paste it directly in the exam, then plagiarism will come. So you have to remove the plagiarism after copying the code. So how do you make your code look original and avoid plagiarism issues? Let's see. First, rename your variables and functions. Don't just leave them as A, B, C or solve. Change them to something meaningful like count, total sum or calculate result. Even though the logic stays the same, your code instantly looks different. Second, change the structure of the code. For example, if the original code is written using a for loop, you can try writing it using a while loop. If it's using an if-else chain, you can switch it with a ternary operator or even a switch case. This changes the way the code looks without changing the output. Third, use different approaches where possible. Let's say the original code sorts an array using the built-in sort function. You can try writing bubble sort, merge sort or even a custom sorting logic. Similarly, if the original solution uses recursion, you can 
can try converting it into iteration. The end result is the same, but the implementation is unique. Fourth, modify the input and output style. In Python, instead of only using input, you can use sys.stdin.readline. In C++, instead of always using cin and cout, you can try scanf, printf, or add faster input-output methods. In Java, switch between scanner and buffer reader. These small changes make a big difference when plagiarism checkers compare your code. Fifth, add small optimizations. Break long lines into multiple steps. Store intermediate values and temporary variables, but slightly rearrange the operations. This doesn't affect the correctness, but it makes your code look original. And yes, you can also add comments and white space changes. But remember, this alone won't work because plagiarism checkers ignore spaces and comments. Combine it with other tricks I just told you. Always combine it with other techniques. So if you follow these steps, your code will look original and also pass plagiarism checkers easily. So reduce and remove the plagiarism. Now copy the code from here and paste it. Now it will be easily submitted. So the link of these telegram groups is in the description. You can go and join them. And also I daily upload latest jobs and internships on my WhatsApp channel. So you can join it. The link of it is also in the description. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and share. Also subscribe to the channel for more updates about TCS Code Vita, the latest jobs and internships and career hacks. See you in the next video. Till then keep learning and keep growing. All the best for Code Vita.